been suffering from what I believe they refer to as cabin fever for about the last three weeks. Weather here in Idaho, heavy snow, heavy rains, high winds, it's just been miserable. Finally got a break in the weather. So I thought I'd take a drive today from where I am in Boise over to the town of Stanley, Idaho. Stanley, Idaho was made famous back in 1995 for the reintroduction of the wolf. Now I'm not expecting to see any wolves on this trip. Be awesome if we do, but I don't have high hopes. But what I do expect to see, some pretty amazing wildlife. Just up on the ridge behind me, just below the ridge line, there are a couple of mountain sheep grazing in the sagebrush. You know, I've learned in my time here in the Rocky Mountains, I've been here just a little over five years now, where to look for the wildlife. So as I was driving this road, majestic scenery, it's absolutely amazing. As I was driving this road, I was looking in all the spots where I thought there would be some wildlife. We came around this corner, looked up on the hill, sure enough, way off in the distance, you see this white rump. I knew exactly what it was. So I pulled over, actually hiked up, made a big mistake. I forgot to put my hat on. With my lack of hair, the sun bounces off that big noggin. It's just a big warning sign for wildlife. Bit of a rookie mistake. But I made my way up the draw. Animals, you know, that like us, they like to conserve calories in the wild. So they take the path of least resistance. So they're going to take, you know, the easiest path up and down. So you just find that, climbers refer to it as a weakness when they're climbing rock faces. You just find that weakness in the landscape and follow it. That's generally speaking the path that the wildlife are going to take. And I just followed the path that they've been making. There was a very well trodden trail by sheep, lots of scat, lots of tracks. Made my way up, sat not too far from them, took it in, observed them, filmed them. Absolutely amazing. And I've only been here probably 10 minutes. It's a good sign of things to come. Feel like Ace Ventura. Spend so much time looking to my left because that's where the closest range of mountains are. But I forget to look to my right, which is where the river and the lakes are. And there was this quite amazing thing back there where all of a sudden the top of the river flowing into the lake just froze. The whole thing was just frozen. Absolutely remarkable. Such a beautiful landscape, really is amazing. So I've been driving along the river. I've seen a couple of mule deer up in the mountains. I've seen quail, both up in the mountains and just scurrying back and forth across the road and just up to my left. Currently, there's a bald eagle flying through the mountains. I have no idea how far this road goes. But I'm gonna plow on, admire the amazing landscape and hopefully, spot some more wildlife.
I've got to my turning point across this bridge here and unfortunately the road that I want to take is covered in snow and I do not have chains with me for my vehicle in fact I don't really have any survival type gear with me whatsoever um, I was hoping that the roads were all melted out but I'm not too concerned about it I don't mind turning around and heading back the way I came and looking on the other side of the river for the wildlife I was actually stood on this bridge beautiful area right here the river running in it is so quiet there's birds chirping it's just surrounded and immersed in nature it's absolutely wonderful but I was actually just sat on this bridge just doing a couple of shots with the drone to want to try pass through under the bridge and all this kind of stuff and then you've got the mountains the other side it just looks absolutely stunning and I wanted to try and try and capture the flow of the river as it moved down towards those mountains and I was kind of sat on the bridge and I caught out the corner of my eye some movement in the mountains and I looked up and there was a golden eagle flying through the mountains unfortunately I wasn't quick enough to get my camera and get him on film but I think what I'm gonna do is stop here he was making his way down the mountains and golden eagles what they tend to do is kind of hug hug the hillsides they hug the mountainsides and they fly along looking for prey as they're going and I'm kind of hoping that he's gonna come down and do what I've had to do turn around and come back the other way don't see that happening but I'm gonna take this time boil up some coffee take a coffee take a few minutes in this beautiful area and just chill out